about the others. David Graeber was a professor of anthropology at the London School of Economics. He is the author of the debt, the first 5,000 years, and bullshit jobs, a theory, and was a contributor to Harper's Magazine, to Harper's Magazine, The Guardian, and The Buffer. An iconic thinker and renowned activist, activist, his early efforts helped to make Occupy Wall Street an era-defining movement. He died on 2 September 2020. David Wengo is a professor of comparative archaeology at the Unif- at the Institute of Archaeology, University College London, and has been a visiting professor at New York University. He is the author of three books, including What Makes Civilization, when Go conducts archaeological fieldwork in various parts of Africa and the Middle East. Forward and Education by David Wengo David Rolf Graeber died after 59 each died David Rolf Graeber died age 59 on 2 September, September 2020 just over three weeks after we finished writing this book which had absorbed us for more than 10 years it began as a diversion from our more serious academic duties, an experiment, a game almost, in which an anthropologist and archaeologist tried to reconstruct the sort of grand dialogue about human history that, wa- that was once quite common in our fields, but, in, but, but this time with modern evidence. These were no rules or deadlines. We wrote as, and when we felt like it, which increasingly became a daily occurrence. In the final years before its completion, after the project gained mod- momentum, it was not uncommon for us to talk two or three times a day. We would often lose track of who came up with, with what idea or which new set of facts and examples. It all went into a archive, which quickly outgrew the scope of a single book. The result is not a patchwork, but a true synthesis. We we could sense our styles of writing and thought converging by increments into what eventually became a single stream. Realize, realizing we didn't want to end the intellectual journey we embark on, and that many of the concepts introduced in this book would benefit for further development and exp- exemplification. We plan to write the sequels, no less than three. But this first book had to finish somewhere, and I end at 9.18 p.m. On, on 6 August, David Graeber announced with characteristic Twitter flair and loosely exciting Jim Morrison that it was, that it was done. My brain feels bruised. My, my brain feels bruised with numb surprise. We got to the end just as we started, and their luck with the drafts facing constantly back and forth between us as, as we read, shared, and discussed the same sources, often, in, often into the small house of the night. David was far more than an anthropologist. He was an activist and public intellectual of international repute who tried to leave his ideas about social justice and liberation, giving hope to the oppressed and inspiring unless others to follow suit. The, fo- the book is dedicated to the fond memory of David Graeber and, as he wished, to the memory of his parents, Good Rubinstein Graeber and Kenneth Graeber. May they rest together in peace. Acknowledgements Set circumstances obliged me, David Grengo, to write these acknowledgments in David Graeber's absence. He survived by his wife Nika. David's passing was marked by an extraordinary outpouring of grief, which united people 
across continents, social classes, and ideological boundaries. Ten years of right, ten years of writing and thinking together is a long time, and it is not for me to guess whom David would have missed to think in this particular context. His co travels, his co travelers along the pathways that led to this book, which already know who they are and how much they treasure the, the support, care, and advice. Of one thing, I am certain this book would not have happened, or at least not in anything remotely like its present form, without the inspiration of an energy of Melissa Fleshman, our wise counsel at all times, in all things literary, in Erchinsky of Farrar, Strauss and Giro, uh, Giro and Thomas Penn of Pinion UK, we found a superb editorial team and two intellectual partners for their passionate engagement with and interventions in our thinking over many years. Heartfelt thanks to the to A.B. Bookchin Al Pasa, Erhard Skupels and and Andrea Luca Zimmerman for generous expert guidance on the on different aspects of the book. Thank to thanks to Manuel Arroyo Kalin, Elizabeth Bakedeno, Nora Bateson, Stephen Berkis, Nurit Bird David, Maurice Bloch, David Carballo, John Katman, Dis Costa, Philip Discola, Alexander Diachenko, Kevin Edinburgh, Dorian Fuller, Biseka Gaidraska, Co Colin Greer, Thomas Grisafi, Chris Han, Wendy James, Megan Laws, Patricia McAndani, Barbara Alisman, Simon Martin, Jen Notroff, Jose R. Oliver, Mike Parkson, Mike, Mike Parker Pearson, Timothy Pocketat, Matthew Pop, Karen Redner, Natasha Reynolds, Marcel Sahlins, James C. Scott, James C. James C. Scott, Stephen Stenan, Stephen Stenan and Michel Wolstonikov. A number of the arguments in this book were first presented as named lecturers and in scholarly journals. An earlier version of Chapter 2 appeared in France as, uh, as La Sages de Candiaron, La Critique Indigene, Le Mythe du Progress et La, na la Naissance de la Gauche, La, ref la Revue de, Mou de Mousse. Part of Chapter 3 were first presented as farewell to the childhood of man, ritual, seasonality, and the origins of inequality. The 2014 Henry Myers Lecture, Journal of Royal Anthropological Institute of Chapter 4, as many of chapter 4 as many seasons ago slavery and its rejection and its rejection among foragers on the pacific coast of north america american anthropologists and of chapter 8 as cities before the state in early in early eurasia the 2015 jack goody lecture max planck institute for social anthropology thanks to the various academic institutions and research groups that will come us who speak and debate on topics relating to this book and especially to Enzo Rossi and Philip the Scholar for memorable occasions at the University of Amsterdam and the College of the France. Jim Thompson, formerly editor-in-chief at Eurasian, first helped us get our ideas into the, right, the wider world with the essay of with the essay, How to Change the Course of Human History, at least the part that's already happened, which he adopted with conviction when other publishing venues sit away. Thanks also to the many translators who have extended who have extended its audience since and to Kelly Burdick of Labham Quarterly for inviting our contribution to a special issue on the theme of democracy where we aired some of the ideas to be found here in chapter 9. From the beginning, both David and I incorporated our work on this book into our teaching, 
respectively at the LSE Department of Anthropology and the UCL in Institute of Archaeology. So on behalf of both of us, I wish to thank our students of the last 10 years for their main insights and insights and reflections. Martin, Judy, Abigail, and Jack Wengo were by my side every step of the way. My last and deepest thanks to Ewa Domaratska for, for providing both the sharpest criticism and the most devoted support support a partner could wish for. You came into my life much as David and this book did. Grain riding suddenly out of the air, battering the, battering the bare walls of the sun. Rain, rain on dry ground.